I recently finished building a shed to store some of my yard equipment. In order to build this structure, I used a variety of fasteners, and so I thought I'd explore some of the differences between screws and nails. Screws and nails are both used in modern construction, and if you're wondering which one you should be using in your project, the answer is that it depends. There's a few things to consider when it comes time to choose which you're going to use. Keep in mind there's a huge variety of both screws and nails, and so what I mentioned in this video is a general rule of thumb and it's not absolutely true for every different variety. The first thing to consider is the cost of the two. Again, not in all cases, but largely, nails are gonna be cheaper than screws. If you're just an occasional DIYer like I am, the cost difference between the two won't really matter much. However, if you're a professional builder and you're using thousands or millions of these, the cost is going to add up, and so you'll want to consider the cost a little bit more. Another thing to consider is, in your application, how easy is it to use one of these two? I'm not super proficient with hammering nails in, and so for me, nails are a little bit harder to get in. I'll even admit to bending a few and having to pull them out and try again. But for people who are professional, they might actually be able to nail something in faster than I could screw it together. Also for time, if I have to pre-drill my hole before putting the screw in, then it's gonna be faster for me with a hammer and nail. But for rough construction, where I can just use an impact driver and a self-drilling screw, that's going to be way faster for me. So generally for me, ease of use, the advantage goes to screws. And of course this time goes out the window if you have fancy equipment like a nail gun, in which case the nail gun is going to be the fastest. Another thing it depends on is the application. So in some spaces, say you're in a tight space, you may or may not have space to swing a hammer or fit a power drill where you're going to drill a hole and screw a screw in. So that's something that you need to take into account as well. And now one of the most important is the application. Nails and screws work differently. When you drive a screw through material, as it gets tight, the threads pull against the material and hold everything together. This makes them an exceptional choice for pull-out strength. The pull-out strength is just the amount of force it takes to pull it straight out, perpendicular to the face of the material that you've screwed into. Nails, on the other hand, drive a wedge into the material and are just held in by friction. Nails have a decent pull-out strength, but they cannot match screws in this regard. Where nails shine over screws is their shear strength. To understand shear strength, just imagine that you hammer a nail straight into the wall and then hang a picture on it. The nail is going to experience a shear force if you pulled straight down to the floor on that picture. Screws are more brittle, which gives them a lower shear strength. So in applications where you need High pull-out force, generally screws are the go-to. And if you need high shear strength, nails are going to be better. In construction projects, such as the shed I built and larger, where you have large amounts of wood that are joined together and exposed to the elements, generally nails do better here because the wood will tend to move as the temperature and humidity change. Over time, this puts stress on the fasteners, and if you use something brittle like screws, that stress accumulates and can cause them to crack. However, because nails are more ductile, they stand up better to the stress because they can bend a little bit. And if you are planning on building a large structure, make sure you do your research to ensure that you're using the proper fasteners. If you're building something benign, like say a box, you have some flexibility over which you want to use. But if you're a contractor who's putting up roof joists, there are certain rules about what type of fastener you're supposed to use. I'm not going to go into all of those details, I'm just trying to provide some general information about how they work so that as you work on projects, you can make a more informed decision about what you want to choose. That's it for today. Hopefully this information was useful for you. Which do you prefer, using nails or screws? Drop a comment and let me know.